Got one. Hell yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow, hey, he wrapped up. Oh, look at that. Oh. He wrapped you up. Damn, he probably didn't even get hooked. All right, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Was invited back by Dogham Outdoors to guess what? Guess where, y'all? Lake Palmdale, aka Fin and Feather. Right here. Oh, okay. All right, cool. That's what he's jigging with right now. He got that, that trout. A little drop, uh, drop shot. How you doing, man? Hey, good. How are you? This is my buddy Jacob. Jacob hey, nice Brian. Meet you. Nice to meet you. This is my buddy Jose. We call him Punky Brewster. <laughs> <laughs> this is my buddy Jacob. Hey, what's up, bro? Punky Brewster. Yeah, like if if you if you like got to see him when we first like started hanging around with him, he would show up and like. Like just he just didn't make like nothing match like like he had short short sock long sock uh huh fucking purple sandals. purple shorts one sandals white one sandals red like yeah yeah like he had style dude <laughs> hey Lionel yes, sir. check it out it's called uh the DJI awesome action you can put that on this little little janky but so this the one I brought <laughs> all right so this is. The Osmo Action 3. Mm -hmm. I like this one. This one cost me like 350, but it came with three batteries in this right here. Mm -hmm. Like three come in one battery. Damn. And so, it looks like the box recharges the battery. Yeah. Like you can charge the box. That's, that's what it's supposedly it's supposed to do. Yeah. Comes in this little case, so like you can do your TikToks on it too. Like, so you put the case on, you can, it latches on like that. Whoa. But you see this right here? Yeah. It comes with two or three of them. It comes with two. So you kind of pop the cap the thing out like that. Just in case you want to buy another one. Mm -hmm. This is what I would recommend versus getting another GoPro. Pop that out. And you, you post videos with this one too, huh? Yeah. And and I never would have known that you had a off-brand yeah. camera. Yeah. Well, this these are like for, uh, you know, the company that make drones. Uh -huh. that's, that's basically the same thing. Gotcha. It's like GoPro's competitor, but yeah. I think they're beating GoPro, honestly. Dude, I'm glad because, dude, for GoPro, like, like they overheat, they shut off on their own. It's yeah. They're annoying. So this right here, also got a face, uh, front-facing camera. Oh hell yeah. Uh, um, so you, you know, can lens. see yourself as you record. Yeah. That's cool. But like, check it out. Mm -hmm. Like that. Wow. And then say you want to switch it out, you just pop it off. Oh, right here. You, you yeah. Decompress it right there. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Pop it on here. It snaps right on. Yeah. That's and it, and it comes with this little selfie stick. God damn, that's cool. Yeah. So. There. Damn. That's you, bro. Arigato. I mean, thank you. <laughs> I, I'll do it, man. <laughs> switch, switch in between. Do your thing. Make your video. Here, just hold on to the extra batteries until the end of the day. Thank you, sir. I'll put yep. it in my back pocket. All right, y'all. So it looks like they're out pretty deep. So we're going to start off with a drop shot. Yeah, I'm not a favorite color of watermelon red right now. Christmas is a close second, but right now. Watermelon red been doing me good wherever I go, whether it's in the beach <laughs> or someplace like this. No way. Hey, if, if my buddy is free, you want to go on that? You want to go on that tuna boat? Tuna boat. Hey Siri. Call Mike. Hey Paul, you got room on your boat? Yeah, can I bring my buddy Jacob? That's fine. Alright, well, we'll, we're on the jetty, so we'll walk right over. No. Yeah, no worries. For sure. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, y'all, we out here with Dogma Outdoors. What's up, y'all? What's up? He hasn't been doing his channel in a minute, but we're going to get him back on. Yeah. So I was, I was telling my buddies when we came, I was like, man, Jacob is inspiring me. You know, like we were talking this morning about some of his old videos. And even right now on the boat, we're talking about Miss Bella video that he made a couple months back. And uh, man, thank you. No, thank you. Hey, you know what? It, it always uh, pays off to uh, be good to people because just like right now, we were fishing off the... The people he spot right off the dock, you know, the, the little pier right there. And it's a lot of people, not very much space. And he was able just to hit up a buddy that, you know, he's been good to. They've been good to each other. 
and invited us on to this boat. So thanks to him, thanks to his buddy, and yeah. we're gonna try to uh, gonna get it, it going. Out. Yeah, all right. It's really, it is not the same. That, was that day that you invited me out? Was that? Um, opening day. Oh, opening day, and, okay. And dude, that was a learning experience for me. I was like, dude, like, it's just, to have someone come, pay money, and then for it to be that hard to fish that day, I, I, after that, I was like, dude, I, I, I can't do that to stuff. Like, no, no, it, it was, it was, because uh, there was fish to be caught, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, the, no, y'all killed it. Yo. And your homeboy caught like a, a six pounder or something like that? Yeah, Alfred. Yeah, yeah. So, like, and even right there, like, there's not that many people in the docks right there. Yeah. It's just um, fishing where where it's like a lot of people. That's that's nothing to me. Yeah. Cause I know how to, you know, it's like a dance. You know, you cast, I cast, you cast, I cast. Yep. But I'm over you. You come under me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, uh, it was a freaking lady. Like, cause it was like a bunch of people. You can't park here. You can't park there. Uh, and then I think I, I was going. I was trying to leave, right? And. She was like, well, well who, who's your sponsor? Like, who, who brought you here? Where is he at? Like, they're trying to get your number and all never this. That, yeah. yeah, I'm like, like I'm just never, trying to leave. Never, never, it's never done that. Yeah. But they, I felt like they were just doing too much, you know? It was just like, so it wasn't the fishing. It was uh, more so. Your experience on your way out. Yeah, like the, like top flight security, you yeah, know what I mean? No, like, like, what's the point of that? Yeah. You can't go to the bathroom without the person who invited you like that. Yeah. That seems kind of ridiculous, you yeah, know? Yeah, no, I, I agree. But I think uh, it could have been that lady, you know what I mean? No, it, it definitely was. Dude, dude, like, out of the, the three people I brought that day, you, my boss, and... Uh, yeah, your boss him. got on fish, too. Everybody got on fish, yeah. so... Uh, they, they didn't hassle him on his way out. He left before me. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you hit, you left before him. Mm -hmm. They hassled you, didn't hassle him. It was just like the whole thing. I was like, what the yeah. fuck? Oh, it's good, cool size. Yeah. Hey, go in front of him. Get him in front of you. Yeah, I'm gonna guide it over because I want to keep it away from the. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, Adam. Good job, Adam. Good job, Mikey. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I got one. Hell yeah. You got one? Yeah. There we go. I got it. Yep. On the slug, drop shot. Jacob's on one. Huh? Nice. Beautiful. Oh, jumper. Choo, there we go. Yeah, buddy. On the <laughs> drop on shot. The Going up. Set it down. Yeah, perfect, gorgeous. See, see, that's the reason why I like the jig, cause right on the lip, just in case you know you don't want it. Have a fish. He's got a fish. Got a fish. Hey, bite, bite, sure. bite, bite, bite. Dale. Yeah, he's on. Another bite. No, se lo quitó de la boca. Yeah, it was a bite. No, he was on. No. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of 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 a Nice fish. <laughs> I will say, you know, Lake Palmdale do got some pretty fish. Yeah. Pretty thick ones too. Got pretty good.
Just got one. Stone. I got the camera on. Oh, it feels like a better one. So in the slug. Oh, see it? Oh, I see it there. Oh, he wrapped you up. Damn, he probably didn't even get hooked. He's a rapper. He's a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's Jeffro. Right. Thank you, sir. With that, with that thing on TikTok, I want to wrap around. <laughs> I want to wrap around. No. <laughs> Daddy, why is she strong? Damn, he got all tangled up. Uh -huh. That one's over. Thank you very much, Captain. Oh, nice one. Oh, gonna get tangled up. Good size one, too. Pretty rainbow. Hell yeah. Good job, Mikey. Wow, good job, bud. <laughs> Congratulations. Good job, Adam. Shout out to Dog Mountain Doors and Captain Mike. Appreciate the both of you. I had a good time. A few people have asked me for my honest opinion about fitting feathers, so I'll say this. It is very peopley. No matter if you're fishing off of a dock, fishing off the jetty, fishing off of a boat, it's peopley. That's that. But also, the fish are here and the fish are heavy. The average fish that I've seen is between two to three pounds. Those are the, the schooly type of trout. They get bigger. I'm not sure if they get smaller, but those are the ones that I've seen. I've seen one fish that was about like six and another fish that was about seven. So I know they're in there. So you don't have to worry about the quantity or the quality of the fish. The thing you have to worry about is the accessibility. We're all in one of these little private docks. There's a bunch of these little private docks all around the, the lake. That's where the accessibility comes in. You have to be lucky to get on one of these docks. And then once you're on it, you got to pray to God that nobody comes along and kicks you off. So there's that. There's no problem with the fish being here. It's just the rules that come along with coming to this lake because in order to even get in the lake, you have to be a member. Check the prices yourself, but I think the like a year membership is at least like a thousand dollars just to be a member. And then that doesn't give you guaranteed access to any of these docks. Another way you could get in is by being invited by somebody who is a member. And once you get in, they have to check you in and you have to stay with that member throughout your fishing trip. You guys have to stay together. No separating. I'm guessing the only time you guys can be separate is when you go into the bathroom. That's just been my personal experience. They they harassed me a little bit. When Lionel wasn't right there with me, they was wondering, oh, where's your where's your sponsor? Where, where's the guy that's with you? Like, where is he at? Like, you, you guys are supposed to stay together, like harassing me. So that left a bad taste in my mouth, but it is what it is. At any given moment, if anybody who owns this dock shows up, they could kick you off. And then it's like, it'd be like that sometimes, you know? If you're somebody like me who don't mind driving and, and don't live in Pondell for sure and have gone to many other places and seen what other places they have to offer, it's a hard pass for me on getting a membership here. And as far as coming as a guest, it's a last resort because I know there's other options out there where you don't have to deal with the, the hassle of all their rules. Yeah, that's the main thing. Just the fact that you got to that they have so many different rules and regulations that just seem to be a little bit overkill for me. And the and the lack of accessible water, you know, is very packed and the fishing spots are very limited. You got to do a whole lot just to get into one of the spots. But once you get in the spot, you will catch fish. It, in my opinion, it's just like, it, it's not worth it. There's a lot of people who, who like dream about going to Fin and Feather. It, it, it is not all that exciting there's other places that you can go to 
that is just as good as a lot of places that are better. But Fin and Feather is very consistent. So that's my honest opinion. Hope I don't make anybody mad or offended at that. But it'd be like that sometimes. With that said, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And like always, if I don't see you in the water, I'll catch you next video. Peace out.